Assalamu alaikum. Um, today, A2 Computer Science 9608, and we will going to discuss about um, linked list ADT. Um, you suppose that uh, we have stack, queue, or um, binary tree ADT. We have seen it well. We have also visual basic programs, ko bhi, uske infrastructure. Ko bhi, uh, how to declare an ADT stack queue and binary tree using classes, using user defined data type, how to initialize stack queue and binary tree uh, uske programs, and later how to insert data inside, uh, push or pop in stack, uh, insert or delete in queue, uh, or binary tree can insert, delete. Uh, insert yeah, or traverse. That's more important regarding binary tree. Uh, linked list ka introduction hum ek past paper ke question se karte hai, using classes. Meanwhile, uh, I can tell you, I was actually working on one uh, linked list program, and you just can go and um, pick this last um, uh, program, Visual Basic program, uh, GitHub uh, dot com slash Bandesha ke upar. A2 section can there, A2 key repository can there. So single link list. So you can uh, download it and you can actually implement it. They can hopefully inshallah ugly class can there's come uh, uh, completely run karke or um, scootries karke they can get how link this program works. How to insert the data, how to delete the data, how to display or search the data within the link list. Sub questions can there cover. All right, so let's have an introduction. Um, user defined data type ke through hum, um, hum different data types uh, data structures ko already declare karna initialize karna sikh chuke hain aaj hum classes ko thoda implement karte hain uh, past paper mein question hai uh, it's on uh, page number uh, 93 page number 93 of uh, paper 4 past paper yearly past paper booklet um, all right so inshallah you all uh, should have the hard copy with you in any case if anybody needs the soft copy they can go to bandesha.com and they can download it from there all right um an ordered list ordered linked list whenever we're going to talk about linked list probably we will going to talk about ordered linked list uh iska introduction hum classes mein le chuke hain lekin isko agar hum dobara thoroughly discuss kare to uska matlab ye hai ki agar hum data insert kar rahe hain jaise binary tree ke andar bhi hum yahi baat karte hain alphabetically and numerically to data automatically sort hota chala jayega jo pointers hain usi tarah se adjust ho jayega taaki agar hum data ko traverse kare to wo alphabetically form ke andar hi hame output show kare okay uh, ordered linked list uh, has three associated operations create list add item to list and output the list to control to list ko banana hai yani ke banane ke baad usko initialize karna aur phir hame wo program banana hai jiske through hum uske andar data insert kar sake aur agar data already list ke andar maujood hai linked list ke andar usme se retrieve kar sake i guess uh, you guys already have an idea we just can have quick overview of linked list ye bas ko draw karke dekh lete hain yahan pe waise draw karna sahi nahi hoga kyunki uh right so Linked list is if you arrange your data in form of different memory location ke upar, but they are joined together with each other uh, in some manner like this. If it's our first list, then we will say that our head pointer is here. And if we have a memory location, then we can say that memory location is 0, 5. So we will join this with this way that we will move the address in the address and we will move it. और अगर मुझे इसको इसके साथ ज्वाइन करना है और लेट्स सपोज इसका एड्रेस 09 है 09 यहां पर होगा अगर इसको मुझे इसके साथ ज्वाइन करना है तो लेट्स सपोज इसका एड्रेस अगर 1110 है तो 1110 यहां पर होगा और इसके अंदर नल पॉइंटर होगा नल पॉइंटर के लिए -1 की अह वैल्यू को यूज करता है और क्योंकि अगर लेट्स सपोज हमारी जो भी एड्रेसेस हैं वो कभी माइनस में नहीं हो सकते तो रिप्रेजेंट अ नल वैल्यू वी यूज माइनस वन सो दिस इज व्हाट लिंक लिस्ट है इसके बारे में और भी बात हो सकती है कैसे अंदर हम एल्फोबेटिकली डेटा डाल कैसे सकते हैं वगैरह वगैरह राइट नाउ का हमारा पर्पस इस क्वेश्चन को अंडरस्टैंड करना 
an ADT to implement uh, using uh, OOP as a linked list of nodes. Again, more object oriented programming get through linked list to apply. Karta. All right. Um, there are two classes, linked list and node. Achha. Linked list probably, if you look at ADT ki form, mein dekhe, agar usko as an array, ke pe implement kar rahe so data definitely uh, linked list it's, it should have a complex data structure or node agar ek aur uh, type hai to wo make sure kar rahi hai ke har linked list ki har ek uh, jo portion hai uske wo kis tarah se portionize hui hui hai so probably by looking at it we can say that ki jo node hai wo definitely inherit karegi linked list class ko aur iske liye main term use karte hain there are two classes linked list and node state the term used to describe the relationship between these two classes if node is inheriting uh, linked list or uske har ek element ko so the term that we're going to use is aggregation so aggregation ko agar aap understand karna chahe to hamare paas jo uh, nodes hai paper 4k 4.3 ke andar uh, you can go uh, to page number 18 and uh, 18 से पहले भी आप classes के बारे में object oriented programming के बारे में थोड़ा सा जान सकते हैं uh, और उसके अंदर aggregation है inheritance है polymorphism है ये सारी terms जो हैं यहाँ पे uh, explain हुई भी हैं aggregation भी यहीं कहीं पर होगा या yeah, there it is special case of association ठीक है for example consider two classes student class and address class so, address जो class है वो हर student class को inherit कर रही होगी क्योंकि हर बच्चे का address तो होगा ठीक है लेकिन एड्रेस क्लास क्लास इटसेल्फ जो है हम ये नहीं कह सकते कि बट इफ यू कंसीडर इट्स वाइस वर्सा देन इट वुड नॉट मेक सेंस एज एड्रेस डज नॉट नेसेसरीली नीड टू हैव अ स्टूडेंट किसी एड्रेस के ऊपर किसी स्टूडेंट का होना जरूरी नहीं है ठीक है लेकिन हर स्टूडेंट का जो है वो एड्रेस जरूर होगा तो इस फिनोमेना को हम एग्रीगेशन कह रहे होते हैं ये पीपल कैन पुट इट डाउन ड्रा द अप्रोप्रिएट डायग्राम सेकंड पार्ट एग्रीगेशन Aggregation, what were the spellings? Uh, I guess this should be the one. Okay. Draw the appropriate diagram to represent this relationship. Ek to ho gai hamare paas linked list. Okay. Or dusi class hamare paas ho gai node. Or definitely node jo hai wo inherit kar rahi hai um, linked list ko. Some classes ko jab bhi show kar rahe hota hai. To hum is tarah se karte hai. Uh, sorry it's pen battery is going down right so hum kya karte hain uske do portion banane ki reason ye hoti hai ke uh, here the uh, the attributes will go and uh, the methods will go here the attributes and the methods every class must have these two things now the definition of the classes so we just make these two boxes and uh, Okay, so with the connection endpoints, um, every linked list can have um, multiple. You know, the linked list ki har ek portion, har ek element ko jo further define karegi, wo node karegi. Node is a it's, it's a kind of. Agar aap thode familiar honge, UDT kar chuke hain already, to aapko pata hoga ki data structure kya hai. Agar node ko declare karte the, aur hum har ek agar array ko declare karte hain as node. So, what will happen if we have a link list? For example, uh, here probably link list in the data part and a pointer. So, data or pointer is what we have to define in the node. So, this is how you draw the diagram. Let's move forward. Alright. Uh, the design for node class consists of attributes data string pointer and teacher we use ke do attributes okay or baki niche uske methods ke bare create set data set pointer get data and get pointer um, often uh, jab bhi kabhi aap data aur pointer is tarah se kisi bhi class ke andar kisi bhi add ke liye define karenge to data ke liye get or set banana padega pointer ke liye bhi aapko get or set banana padega the constructor method sets the attributes to the initial values that are passed as a parameter um, if you have done those questions, so we were doing classes for the 
उसके अंदर पेज नंबर भी हमने मैंशन किया हुआ था जस्ट डू इट वंस अगेन If you people have done that activity, object oriented वाली जिसमें एक क्वेश्चन था जिसके अंदर हमें गेम के लिए प्रोग्राम बनाना था एंड्रा सेक्ट्रा तो यू कैन हैव एन आइडिया के कंस्ट्रक्टर क्या होता है ठीक है कंस्ट्रक्टर के थ्रू हम वैल्यूज को पास कर रहे होते हैं इसके लिए अब आपको क्लास जो है वो डिक्लेयर करनी है इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सब प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज वी विल गोइंग टू यूज विजुअल बेसिक सो गाइज वंस यू विल गेट होल्ड ऑन टू दीज थिंग्स क्लासेस किस तरह से डिफाइन होती हैं ई डी टीज के अंदर अगर आपको स्टैक लेंगलस बाइनेट्री क्यू किसी का भी उसको डिफाइन करने के लिए कहते हैं ना फॉर्म ऑफ क्लास शुड नॉट बी डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज आर हाईली रिलेटेबल अच्छा वी बी प्रोग्रामिंग कोड क्लास वो बिल्कुल आसान सी बात की चाहिए आपको क्लास डिक्लेरेशन नोट करनी है तो क्लास नोट लिख दें ठीक है और क्लास नोट लिखा था आपको कहीं ना कहीं पे एंड क्लास भी करना ही पड़ेगा चलें इसके कुछ नंबर तो मिलेंगे मैथड्रीब्यूट सॉरी तो जैसे डेटा और पॉइंटर है तो वी शुड नो कि हम उसको क्लासेस के अंदर एज अ प्राइवेट के तौर पे प्राइवेट प्राइवेट डाटा एज डेटा जो है वो स्ट्रिंग होगा डेफिनेटली स्ट्रिंग और जो आपका पॉइंटर है वो डेफिनेटली इन टीचर होगा एंड दिस इज इट उसके बाद आप जो अपनी क्लास है प्राइवेट करके उसको डिक्लेयर कर चुके हैं अब आपको कंस्ट्रक्टर अगर डिक्लेयर करना है तो आप कंस्ट्रक्टर क्योंकि ये वैल्यूज जब आपकी क्लास की इंस्टेंस क्रिएट होगी तो यही वैल्यूज जो आपके कंस्ट्रक्टर के अंदर जो क्लास के अंदर आपने जो टेम्पलेट के अंदर डिफाइन किए हुए हैं वो वैल्यूज आपकी बाहर मूव होंगी तो उसके लिए आप उसको पब्लिकली डिक्लेयर करेंगे दिस इज अ कॉमन प्रैक्टिस वेन एवर यू गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ कंस्ट्रक्टर दिस इज हाउट शुड बी डन पब्लिक सब न्यू वी आर कॉमनली नेम इट एज न्यू हमारे कंस्ट्रक्टर है उसके अंदर आप बाय uh, वेल करके वैल्यूज को मूव करेंगे अच्छा नीचे इसी अगर पब्लिक सब और एंड सब लेट्स इस कंस्ट्रक्टर के अंदर अगर डाटा है उसको मैं डी के नाम से जानता हूं और जो मेरे पास पॉइंटर है उसको मैं पी के नाम से जानता हूं तो बाय वेल डी एज स्ट्रिंग आप ट्राई ये कीजिएगा कि इसको एक ही लाइन में ख़त्म करें uh, मेरा डेटा अगले लाइन में जा रहा है और बाय बाय पी एज इन टीचर तो ये हेडिंग हो जाएगी आपके कंस्ट्रक्टर uh, की दैट सेट दिस इज द कोड क्वाइट इजी क्वाइट ऑब्वियस अगर कुछ ये समझ में ना आए तो आप पूछ सकते हैं रिकॉर्डेड लेक्चर्स का बेनिफिट ये है कि यू कैन वॉच दीज थिंग्स वॉन्स अगेन so um that was the declaration of uh, declaration of um declaration of linked list so this is the example that they have given us head pointer free list pointer means ke jo aapke free nodes available hai aur null pointer that is the last value which you can see here uh, paras ke baad yahan pe se null pointer move kiya hai The symbol uh, represented as a null pointer explains the meaning of the term uh, null pointer. Uh, null pointer uh, it doesn't uh, point to any uh, data or node. इसका मतलब ये होता है हम इसको यूँ भी ले लेते हैं कि यहाँ पे हमारी linked list खत्म हो रही है. So the linked list is actually uh, complete. It's like it's finishing here. If you just want to insert any node at the end of the linked list, you Again, also try to find out the null pointer. So, null pointer is simply uh, the indication that your linked list is ending here. Uh, it does not point to any other address. Uh, definitely, uh, the node here it it's it it must be some sort of um, you know address of this thing, address of this thing. So, Head pointer makes sure that from this point our string is uh, our linked list is starting. Okay. so um let's move on to the next question 
give an appropriate value to represent the null pointer for this design. We already know that because in linked list, uh, we use minus one, like just we were doing before. Uh, we use minus one to uh, represent the uh, null value. So it's not like this, it's not like zero, it's like minus one. Minus one is, it means that it's null. All right, so write the program code to linked list class declaration and constructor. Okay, now we did for the node, now we need to do it for the linked list. Uh, all right, so for the linked list, uh, let's start writing the code. Um, for, um, we already know that by looking here, that uh, the linked list must have a head pointer, it must have a free list pointer, and uh, it must have an array, which is basically where the values will going to start. It, it must have mentioned here somewhere as well. Um, add to list, output to the list, find its constructor, a free list pointer, head pointer, node array. So node array is the name of the array, which will be the uh, link list. It will be used as the link list. So this is how it should be done. Uh, let's try to write down the code now. We have an idea of a few things. Definitely when you will be solving it, you must have these questions in front of you. All right, so um, let's keep it a little bit like this so we can have a little bit of glimpse of you know, what's going on. This is question number three. Okay, so class linked list. Again, it's quite easy and quite, quite obvious. Uh, this is the name the name of the class so class linked list and definitely there should be an end class which i should write down later but just out of an excitement okay so we have already discussed that we have uh, things to declare in the linked list class the head pointer the free list and the array itself. So all the attributes will be declared by private. They will be declared declared privately. Um, what was the name? Head pointer. And the head pointer must have a data type integer because it will going to hold the address. Um, private. I'm just uh, just being a little lazy. Just please write it down, okay? Uh, private uh, free list pointer. So free list, let's call it P only. And um, it, it, it must be in teacher as well as, I'm just being lazy, you must have to write it down. And uh, then we have an array. The name of the array was um, uh, node array. So private node array. The size of the array is from, um, because we're writing down into visual basics, we do not need to do this. We just simply write down from zero to seven, right? Okay, seven, let me just make it sure. Yeah, zero to seven, size seven. And uh, the data type will be as node, that's important, okay? That's important, the aggregation part, the thing, uh, you know, when we talk about now every single element of this uh, node array must be having two. Uh, fields one is data one is pointer okay so we also need to create the um, uh, the constructor so public um, it's a procedure and uh, new so now now what we need to do we need to uh, whenever you just uh, uh, you know make the program for any ADT you also have to declare and then initialize so the declaration is being done we are just creating the con constructor to declare it uh, declare it as well so the head pointer by default it will be initialized with minus one free list will be initialized with uh, zero i will going to start the loop for x is equal to zero to seven, and uh, the 
node array x is equal to new node x plus one so this is how we initialize uh, all the parts of the um, the array and uh, but the last part of the array node array the last uh, you just call it set pointer minus one so the last one uh, the last element of the array must have minus one inside its pointer so this is how you declare the um, uh, class and um, this is quite easy uh, this 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 and this point is like extremely easy C creating a constructor is also not very difficult because we know that head pointer must start with minus one free uh, you just have to maybe you just need to remember that in link this this is how we declare uh, we, how we initialize the um, the whole um, uh, the elements of the uh, link list and uh, the array. All right, so let's move forward. After this, write down the code to initiate instantiate a link list object with the contact identifier. The contact is the identifier, and we need to create an instance for the link list object. So it's quite easy. In now Visual Basic, you just need to declare it uh, like uh, just dim it. All right. So dim uh, the name of the its contacts contacts as uh, um, and we just want to start like a link list link list yeah this is it i think there should be one more statement because um, we are creating an instance so there should be one more thing here it should be new yeah new so it will going to create an instance so that's quite easy just remember that whenever you just need to create an instance of any particular um you know data type this is how it will be done so context as link list new uh, the contacts will uh, be stored as a link list. Whenever you just want to insert a contact, if you want to contact a bad thing, then it will be a simple array in the store. It will be a link list in the store. And the link list in the values will be alphabetically sorted. And the addresses will be monitored through pointers. Okay, inshallah, we will see the link list in the next class. We will see the link list in the next class. Let's continue with the, with the question. Um, Okay, this is what they have written uh, in detail about how the insertion, the add item works, and um, a write code for add to list. Now, add to list will be written uh, using, you can take this structured language to write down the code. Uh, but right now, we just need to write down uh, the, you know, the program code for the add to list method, program language used, program code. Now, this is, we're talking about classes here. Uh, so the find insert point method receives a new data into the parameter, new string, and um, it returns two parameters. So the previous pointer, whose value is either the pointer to the node before the insertion point or the null pointer if the new node is to be inserted at the beginning of the list. Next pointer, whose value is the pointer to the node after the Position point. So this is uh, question number four uh, C fourth part. Okay, so we need to write down this four C sixth part. Sorry. So how we done the fifth one? Yeah, we have done the. Fifth. Oh no, we haven't done that. The output list to console method is to oh sorry 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 we skipped that we have written this one हम ये लिख चुके constructor बनाने वाला वो हमने अभी भी यहाँ पे किया this is the one ठीक है write down that this is the third part okay 
तो हम ये ये थर्ड पार्ट कर चुके हैं ना लेट्स ट्राई टू डू द फिफ्थ पार्ट फर्स्ट मैं थोड़ा सा आगे निकल गया हूं जस्ट कमिंग बैक द आउटपुट लिस्ट टू कंसोल मेथड इज टू आउटपुट ऑल द डेटा स्टोर्ड इन द सिर्फ हमें आउटपुट करना है लिंक लिस्ट के अंदर जो डेटा स्टोर है दैट्स इट तो जब तक माइनस वन नहीं आ जाएगा जब तक हम पूरी लिंक लिस्ट के लास्ट में नहीं चले जाएंगे लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल अगर इसके अंदर डेटा स्टोर है एंड वी नो दैट द डेटा इज यू नो समहाउ स्टोर लाइक दिस सो वी नीड टू सॉर्ट वी नो जस्ट टेक आउट एवरी डेटा तो इसको निकालेंगे माइनस वन नहीं है इसको भी निकालेंगे माइनस वन नहीं है इसको भी निकालेंगे वैसे जैसे माइनस वन आएगा कहेंगे हाँ ये लास्ट वाला है यहाँ पे हमारी लिंगनेस खत्म हो रही है तो यहाँ पे हम एक छोटा सा चेक लगा लेंगे okay so um the programming language used is uh pb the program code is to be written for um this this particular question this particular question the output list to console so this is a uh, the method that we need to make hame output karna hai uske liye so ye bhi ek procedure hoga to इसको आप पब्लिक सब आउटपुट क्या नाम था आउटपुट लिस्ट ओपन सॉल्व राइट सो इट नो इट्स नॉट रिसीविंग एनीथिंग इट्स इट्स जस्ट यूज्ड टू यू नो आउटपुट द डेटा सो दैट्स इट सो वी नीड टू हैव अ पॉइंटर Uh, we have to have um, and it start with the head. What we need to do? हमें करना क्या हमें print करना है इस link list को output करना हम output करना सीख रहे हैं basically. Head pointer से start करेंगे और tail pointer यानी कि minus one जब तक नहीं आ जाता तब तक हम चलेंगे. So this is how we're going to start. हम um, सबसे पहले क्या करेंगे जो हम pointer use करेंगे. Um, उसके अंदर हम वैल्यू मूव कर देते हैं हेड पॉइंट अच्छा कुछ स्टेप्स हैं जो याद रखते होंगे आउटपुट करना तो उसके स्टेप्स क्या है मैं लिस्ट अच्छा जब तक माइनस वन नहीं आ जाता सो वायल पॉइंटर इज नॉट इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन एंड वी जस्ट नीड टू आउटपुट सो console dot write uh, the name of the array we have to output all of the uh, uh, link list so link list hai usko humne store kaise kiya tha we stored this with the name of uh, with the name of uh, with the name of uh, yeah node array okay to so, node array ke andar sari link list ke sare ke sare elements hamare store hain to node array Or no array definition. So it's an array. So we need to give it a index. And uh, we okay. No array pointer. How we're going to do that? We have uh, already seen that it has mentioned us here above. You can see that. Method. What is it? What is it? You know, set data, get data. It returns a string. It it will going to return us the data. Get pointer. so the node array pointer and we need to get data for it so this is how you do it this is a little bit different than you know uh, udt udt mein me hota hai ki hum isko andar ye nahi karna padta hum just get data kar rahe or we need to also increment the pointer pointer will work in a way hame pointer ko increment sirf plus 1 nahi karna kyunki plus 1 ke iske andar aisa nahi hota 0 2 जीरो फाइव के ऊपर वी नीड टू पिक द नेक्स्ट उसको हमें गेट करना अगर हम यहाँ पर मौजूद हैं तो इसके जो पॉइंटर के अंदर नेक्स्ट वैल्यू पड़ी हुई है इसको गेट करना अगर हम यहाँ पे मौजूद हैं तो um, हमें इस एड्रेस को गेट करके यहाँ पहुँचना समथिंग लाइक दैट लाइक कनेक्टेड सो दिस इज रीजन हम पॉइंटर के साथ क्या करेंगे 
उसी नोड एरे नोड एरे के अंदर ही पॉइंटर होगा ना डेटा पार्ट भी वहीं होगा और पॉइंटर भी वहीं होगा पॉइंटर उस किस एलिमेंट के अंदर पहुंचा वहां से हम गेट पॉइंटर कर लेंगे सो गेट डेटा सेट डेटा एंड गेट पॉइंटर इट्स क्वाइट इजी सो यू गोइंग टू कैरेट और वाइल एंड वाइल दैट्स इट और एंड सब so this will be uh, your program to uh, output uh, the uh, link list uh, in classes it will be uh, different in uh, udt hum udt ke through bhi karna usko dekhna usko implement karna lekin classes ke liye is quite easy after this the next question is um, which i guess is the last question yeah it's the last question six marks ka question हम थोरली सोल्व कर सकते हैं समझ सकते हैं और बेहतर इन नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल पिक अप दिस गिट अप प्रोग्राम which is already there you guys can download it and uh, start running it i recommend you run it in a way ki jiske andar aap data items enter kare aur iske andar jiske head pointers hai pointers hai free pointers jab uske move ho rahe ho to you people should uh, run this code into visual basic in a way that you just trace it you just uh, need to just give me a second yeah just need to ट तो अपने पास बना लीजिएगा एक हेड पॉइंटर टेल पॉइंटर या फ्री पॉइंटर लेट्स कॉल इट ठीक है और जो आपकी एर उसका जो भी नाम होगा यस प्रोग्राम के अंदर मैंने नेम इज लिस्ट वन सो जो आपकी एर होगी उसको आप यू जस्ट नीड टू ट्राई वर सेट Probably इसके दो पोर्शन होंगे उसके इंडेक्सेस होंगे यार एक है और यहाँ उसका ये पॉइंटर वाला पार्ट होगा डाटा पार्ट होगा आई जस्ट नीड टू रन द प्रोग्राम हाउ आर वैल्यूज आर बींग यू नो मैंश एंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल इनिशियली so they will how they will be interconnected with each other the point of the sector sector i'm going to run the program okay so you can uh, have a better understanding in any case we will going to do this program tomorrow inshallah uh, today is question to solve kijiye jo maine aaj aapko karwaya hai iske alawa uh, link list cell element question page number 56 ke upar page number 3 312 ke upar isi booklet ke andar maujood hai have a look uh, till then i just wish you very best of luck see you soon inshallah